Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 45 minute arms and cardio hit. We're gonna get that heart pumping. We're gonna get those arms nice and strong. So I had to have like my medium um, to light dumbbells. I have my eight, 10 and 15 pound dumbbells. So kind of grab your light medium. Don't forget to sweat towel drink. And of course your great attitude. And let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully a chance to grab those medium to uh, light dumbbells and you're ready to rock and roll. If so, let's start with just opening and closing those arms. Big open where you're gonna throw those thumbs up and then you're gonna rotate them down and give yourself a big hug. Oh yeah, you made it here today, you're excited. We're gonna get a great workout in. We've got two more. Last one, and we're gonna take that arm forward and back. So I've got my thumb up and then I pull it back with my thumb down. Back and forth, big range of motion, moving that chest, moving that back and that shoulder. Two more, last one. And then right here, big wheel. Oh, big circle. And then rotate it the other direction. Woo. And then we're gonna take that arm and we're gonna go to the side and get that lateral side. I'll work in two more. Last one, and then the other side, forward and back. Nice big movements. That shoulder has a lot of movement. We want to make sure we're getting it moving and ready to roll. Two more. Last one. And then big arm circle right here. And then the other direction. Oh yeah, feeling good. <laughs> and then over to the side. Oh, two more. Last one. And then we're gonna hinge down and stretch up. A little bit of a squat and then reach up. Still gotta get those legs moving because we're gonna use those in our cardio. Two more. Last one, and then let's pull that back. So opening up those legs, opening up that chest, squeezing that back. Feeling good. Two more. Last one, and then let's hinge down. This time keep your knees straight, and then hinge back and open up that hip. We gotta still opening up that hip and get those hips moving so that we get that upper back moving, so we get that shoulder moving. All connected, two more. Whew. Last one, hinge down, come back up. This time you're gonna go down, you're gonna stay down. You can take that right arm up and you're gonna roll that wrist and roll it the other way. Take it down, walk it the other side up, roll that wrist, roll it the other way. Come on down, go to the side, grab that right foot, give it a tug. You're gonna feel that in your low back a little bit. Walk it to the left side, give it a tug, and then come back up. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to the end of the mat. We're gonna do a little bit of a walkout right here. And then we're gonna just drop down in those shoulder, into those knees, and we're gonna just keep those elbows straight, and we're gonna just right here, in and out those shoulder blades. So we get nice, good movement in that scap. We've got two more. Last one, and then we're gonna go into plank and push into downward dog and pump those heels. Oh yeah. And then back in a quadruped, sinking in and out. Oh yeah, working that baby. Two more. Last one, and then we're gonna go right here and push into downward dog again, pump those heels. Oh yeah, doesn't that feel good? Okay, now you're gonna walk that back up all the way up. You're gonna throw those arms right up overhead so we get that nice good upper extension. Two more. Last one, and then let's pull those wrists back so we get that nice and stretched out and pull it down. And then we're gonna pull the other back. And then we're gonna pull it down. And then we're gonna do a couple circles. Let's do a couple of hip circles right here. Oh, we're hula hooping. And then the other direction. We're gonna do some wrist circles in the other direction. We're gonna do some Ankle circles, and then the other direction. Ankle circles, the other direction. And then lastly, let's do some neck circles in the other direction. Oh yeah. And then let's talk about what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna work for 40 seconds. We're gonna do supersets. We're gonna do two activities. One's focused on mu muscle strength on the upper body. One is fixed on cardio. So the first activity we're gonna do is we're gonna do a walkout to a push-up. So we're gonna do a nice good walkout right here and go right into that push-up and walk on back. Now, you can walk out and go to your knees and do a push up right here. That's perfectly fine. Then we're gonna do mountain climbers after that. So let's get in that position to do the walkouts first. Are you ready? Here we go in three, 
two, one. Walk that baby out and a nice good push up. Again, you can do that on your knees. You don't have to do it on your toes. Or maybe you start on your toes and you have to go down to your knees. Perfectly fine. You can do a nice good walk out. Down and up. Come on, you got this. We're halfway there. Walk that baby out. Keeping that chest, that torso, those thighs all going down and up at the same time. So you got a nice good control. No one's winning the race. Not jetting that head out there. Not trying to get that, drop that stomach. Nice solid core in three, two, one and a rest. Okay, now we're gonna go to those mountain climbers. You don't have to jump, but you have to move quickly because I want that heart rate up there, okay? So you're gonna drive those knees right here as fast as you can in three, two, one. Here we go, and drive. Pump that heart. Oh yeah. So we're getting some shoulder strength in there. By getting that weight bearing, we're pumping that heart. Oh yeah. By driving those knees in and we're going. And we're going and we're climbing that mountain. Come on and drive it, drive it. Halfway there, come on. Woo, yep, heart rate's starting to get up there, right? We're moving, let's go. Stay strong, stay focused. Woo, oh, it's gonna be a good one today. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now we're going back to those inchworms with the push ups. Just one more of each, we're only doing two rounds. So goes quickly, right? Kind of. <laughs> okay, let's get in position for those inchworms in three, two, one. Walk that out, baby. Into that push up and that walk that back. Again, keep that nice solid trunk in one motion. Down and up. Let's go. Again, it doesn't matter if you're on your toes or your knees, you want that nice solid action, okay? You don't want that belly moving. You don't want to be worming. You want a nice solid control. You got this, come on. And we got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we got one more of those mountain climbers. Woo! Gotta love it, right? <laughs> come on, we'll do water break after this. Here we go, in three, two, one and drive, drive those knees. Come on, boom and boom. Whew. Drive them up. Try to keep your butt low, drive those knees, let's go. I mean, it has to be up to a certain point, right? To drive the knees, but I know, as low as you can go. Keep it up. Whew. Pump that heart, water break after this. Come on and push. Whew. Next superset, we're gonna do it again. Just our body weight, not even adding weights yet. Really warm up that body well. Come on, keep it going. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, yes, infamous words, we love it. Okay, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna work those triceps and then dips. So, starting up with that butt high, hands are facing our butt. We're bending through the elbow and up. We're not bridging right now. <laughs> We're doing dips through our arms. Now, it gets harder when their feet are out there, a little easier when they're closer. And then the easiest is on the butt. Go where you need to. Then we're gonna just do some kicks right here to get that heart rate up. Woo, are you ready? We're gonna start with those dips in three, two, one. Down and up. Push that body, lessen that load as you need to go, okay? When we have weights, we drop down our weights. When we have body weight, we gotta learn how to drop that body weight so we can keep with great form. It's nothing to be ashamed of when you have to change or modify. Just means you're doing a great job at listening to your body, pushing it, and modifying as you go. Just like we would if we were dropping our weight and we start fatiguing. It's all good. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, now we're doing the kicks. Now, you can hop or just kick, but you gotta keep moving, that's the key, right? Okay, here we go in three, two, one and go. Woo. Oh yeah, kick that way, kick and kick. Let's go, come on. Feeling good, right? <laughs> come on, this starts to bother your wrist. 
you can come down right here on your elbows and kick. I know that sometimes, or you can put your wrists down and use those fists. Sometimes that helps too. I wanna make sure I'm protecting that wrist for you. Come on, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. How fast can you go? 15 more seconds. You got this, come on. Almost there. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, one more of each of those. Oh, yes. Woo. Okay, catch that breath for just a second. Back to those dips. And we've got three, two, one. Dip away and down. Whew. Okay, come on. Bend through those elbows. Like I said, it's really easy to start bending through and doing a nice good bridge when we get tired. Okay, but I wanna use those back of the arms. I wanna target those triceps. Come on, down and up. Keep going, keep going, you got this. Modify where you need to. Let's go, 10 more seconds. Oh, and then we're doing those crab cakes. Oh yeah, and we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more of those crab kicks. Again, take those fists, put them down if you need to. That protects that a little bit more neutral joint if that wrist is bothering you. Okay, you ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Also, you can take your weights and hold onto the weights on each side. That'll put those wrists in neutral. That's also another way of doing that. Go where you need to go. Let's go and push and push. After this, we're gonna go up, do some shoulder, shoulder work, some press outs. Oh yeah, come on, keep it up. You got 15 more seconds, push and push. Don't lull a gag, man. Kick that out, baby, let's go. And kick, and kick. <laughs> Eight more seconds. And four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, shake those wrists out. Okay, we're coming up top. Grab some water if you need to. We're gonna do a shoulder press. We're gonna take those arms out. We're gonna come up wide, and then we're gonna come in hit side and press. We're gonna press out wide, come inside and press. Whew. The other thing is we're gonna do punch jacks. So right here or right here. I always show you modifications on jumping. I know a lot of you can't handle jumping. That's okay. Or maybe you can do one, two, and one to keep pushing that body. Whatever you need to do, keep working that baby. Let's grab those weights for those shoulders. Let's roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. Press up the top, come down, come close, press up. So we've got our palms facing out, coming up overhead. Then we have our palms facing together, coming up overhead. I've got my knees slightly bent, my glutes activated and my abs are activated so that I make sure I have a nice strong core foundation and then just pressing through those shoulders. Oh yeah, come on. And up. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got um, punch jacks next. Okay, stepping or hopping, whatever you're doing, you're working hard, right? In three, two, one, here we go, right out here, press, punch, and punch, in and out, boom, boom, boom. Come on, push yourself here, okay? You gotta push, boom. Get that body out there, push it out, push it out, push it out. Even if you're stepping, you got a little bit of a bounce in there, and you're moving and shaking. Okay, by using those arms too, we're increasing that heart rate up there. Come on, you got this. You've got 10 more seconds. Let me go back to that shoulders. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, grab those weights. Woo, oh yeah. Baby, you know it. <laughs> okay, we're going back to that shoulder press. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. Three, two, one up and over, down and middle. Whew. Nice and controlled. Oh yeah, feeling good. Press into the center and up. I'm gonna even increase my weight. I was worried about form, but I wanna press my body. I wanna get stronger. As long as I stay with that form, right? And out, 
and up. 20 more seconds. Nice and controlled and press. Come on, we've got eight more seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, back to those press jacks. Woo! You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and out, and in. Come on, punch those out. You got this. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Oh yeah. You got this, come on. 15 more seconds. In and out. 10 more seconds, you're almost there. Here we go, and five, four, three, two, one, and rush. Oh yeah. Okay, the next activity is we're gonna do is halos. We're gonna take that weight and we're gonna go around the world in our shoulder and around. Nice and controlled, going all the way around to the front and all the way around to the back. Then you're gonna take that towel and you're gonna do a halo and a slam. So you're gonna take that rainbow all the way up and slam it down, pick it up, take it up, around and all the way around. Super fun, right? So let's grab that weight for a halo. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, right here. Halo it around, then switch directions. Okay, again, my knees are slightly bent. Core is engaged, protecting that back and just moving that right around. I'm using that shoulder in all that range of motion. Okay, so strength and mobility and stability with this. Moving that and all the way around in that direction. Okay, don't be high. I want it down by those shoulders, all the way around. Give me that full range of motion. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna pick up that sweat towel. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Now, you don't have to do it with a sweat towel. It just tends to be a little more fun to have something to pick up. You can just do it with arms, empty arms. It gives you something to throw and who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> Here we go in three, two, one, and slam it down. Pick it up and turn it, slam it on the other foot. So I'm rainbowing it around, slamming it to each toe. Boom, pick it up and boom, pick it up. Oh yeah, slammed it down. All your frustrations, all your discouragements, all your disappointments, and all you're doing is picking up hope, picking up encouragement, picking up that you know you're being awesome being here today, right? 15 more seconds, oh yeah. Come on, 10 more seconds, let's go. Finish strong. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, those are always so much fun, right? <laughs> I gotta love it. Okay, here we go, back to those halos. Are you ready? Here we go in three, two, one, up and around. Oh yeah. Curl that baby around and down. You're doing awesome. Hang in there. Curl that around all the way. Again, my knees are slightly bent. Nice, solid foundation. Moving that around. Come on, you got this. Keep it up, you got 10 more seconds of this. Oh yeah, you know it. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop that weight. Grab that towel for the last halo slams. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah. Woo. Are you ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Slam it down and whoop, pick it up. You gotta have that squat in there. Just slam it down with some lump. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're using that shoulder and we're using that momentum really Power that down, and then we're keeping that heart rate up there by using those arms and swinging them around. Oh yeah, woo, come on, you got this. 15 more seconds. Oh, 
little baby. Hang in there, you're almost there. 10 more seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, woo, catch that breath. Grab some water, here we go. The next activity we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bicep curl. We're gonna do a hammer curl. We're gonna rotate it up and do a supinated curl. So we're gonna go back and forth with that. Woo. And then we're gonna do some lunge jumps. So right here. Now, if you don't wanna jump, you're gonna step back quick right here and drive. Okay, so that's the two activities. So I want you to grab those weights for that bicep curl. We're gonna roll those shoulders back. We're gonna start with that hammer. Palms facing your body in three, two, one. Pull up and down. Rotate with the palms up. Come up and down. Rotate with the palms facing you. Alternating that. Nice and controlled, up and down. Working hard. Oh yeah, come on. Drive that up and down. You're doing awesome, hang in there. I know, not easy today. Working those arms, pumping that heart, and feeling so strong and good. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop those weights. You're either doing step back lunges, quickly drive those arms, or you're jumping with me, whatever you're doing, or a combination. Here we go, three, two, one, and jump. So you can come to the middle, and down, or you can jump each side, or you can step. But you notice I'm still driving with those arms. Boom, and boom, push, and push, and push. Let's go. Okay, I'm pushing my body. Okay, this isn't easy, but I'm there with you. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. And maybe you're doing a few steps, and then you do a hop, and then you do a few steps, and then you do a hop. I love it, let's go. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Love that word after that. Woo, okay, grab those weights. Back to those biceps. Roll those shoulders back, starting with that hammer. Three, two, one. Come up. Woo, catching my breath. Oh, yeah. All the way up and down. Nice and controlled, both directions. You gotta control it in that down. It's actually where we're getting a lot of that muscle strength. Hang in there. You're doing awesome. Heart pumping. Oh yeah, come on. 10 more seconds. Here we go, three two, one, and rest. Okay, back to those lunge jumps, steps, however you're doing that and shaking that, moving. Are you ready? Whew, here we go in three, two, one. Come on, down and drive. Keep it up, you got this. Drive it and drive it. Oh yeah, feeling that baby, right? <laughs> Come on. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake those legs out. Okay, we're going down to quadruped. Woo, hands and knees. We're gonna take that weight on one side. We're gonna row it back, extend that elbow, bring it down. What I don't want is I don't want you to pull back and twist that spine. It's a pull back, that spine. Those hips are facing the ground. Drive it back, extend it. So we're gonna get that, look, that back and that tricep. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do bear crawls. Forward and back right here. Okay, so let's start with that. We'll go right side first. Make it even. Here we go in three, two, one. Pull it back, extend, bring it down. Drive that elbow back, squeeze that shoulder blade, and then extend that elbow. 
Don't let the elbow swing out in and control. Do fewer reps with more control than using that swing. Drive it back and extend and down. Come on, pull it back, extend and down. Nice and controlled. Feeling good, right? <laughs> Something like that. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, bear crawls. Now, it is like quadruped, but you've got your knees hovering. You're driving through those toes, up and down. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Drive that forward and drive it back. You don't have to have a lot of space. Again, I don't know if bears go backwards, but we do, okay? Now, tendency is to wanna to be up. How low can you go and burn those quads out, okay? Push yourself, come on. Also using that alternating pattern really helps our brain talk to each other. That right and left side have to talk to each other. We're working that brain and that body. You know me, I love to multitask. Eight more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going back. Quadruped now to the left side. We gotta even Steven it, right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Pull it back and extend and down. Drive it back, extend and down. Woo, yeah. You're doing awesome. Come on, pull it back and extend and down. Whew. Nice and controlled. Squeeze that shoulder blade and then extend that elbow. 15 more seconds. Whew. Oh yeah, working that baby. Eight, seven, six, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, let's finish out with those nice, good bear crawls. Rawr, right? <laughs> oh, yes, I did rawr. Here we go. Three, two, one, crawl, baby. We're gonna go in the sideline next and do some shoulder flies. So we'll do our lighter weight on that. Come on, drive those toes, drive those knees in and out. Stay as low as you can go. Push, push, halfway there, push, push, come on. I'm working with you, come on, I'm pushing. Are you, come on, 12 more seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna work on our left side. Ooh. And we're gonna take that weight and we're just gonna go right here into a fly. Now it's a little easier that way, a little harder up on your elbow and then it's even harder up all the way on that wrist. Go where you need to go, but you're gonna come back and up and down. Okay, so it's a nice, using that control and that long lever arm, keep that elbow just slightly bent, okay, as we come up and down. Then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do lunge switches right here, hopping or stepping. You ready? Let's start with those wide flies in three, two, one. Pulling up and out. Tap down and up. Using that back and that shoulder, pulling that up, controlling that down. I've got my feet staggered. Okay, you can drop that knee and then you can drop that hip all the way down. But press yourself. 15 more seconds. Nice and controlled, come on. Woo, baby. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. My arms are shaking. Okay, we're going into that. Woo, in that plank. We're doing lunges right here. Hopping or stepping as fast as you can. In three, two, one. Right here. Heart rate up there. Come on. You can step and tap up, or you can hop. Come on, I know, we're working those shoulders. A lot of weight bearing today in them. So good for that shoulder input, 
really lubricates that joint, okay? It's a good thing, but it's a challenging thing. Come on, keep it up. 15 more seconds. Oh, baby, eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. How about you? I'm sweating bullets today. Whew, I think I say that a lot of days. Okay, we're going to the other side now. Nice, good fly. Let's get in position. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up and over and down. Whew. Nice and controlled. Whew. Again, I have my feet staggered. Give me a wider base of support to control this movement. Pulling out and up. Halfway there. Oh yeah, bottom arm is shaking. That shoulder is working hard to keep my weight up there. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're back to those lunge. I guess I'd call them plank lunges. I'm not sure. You got what I mean, right? <laughs> Here we go in three, two, one, whoo. I don't know, but they're hard. How about that? Going back and forth, okay? Lunge in the plank and drive. We're gonna go work our back next. We're gonna get on our tummy. Do some TYs and eyes. Oh yeah. Get that extension in there. Come on, push and push and push. Whew. 10 more seconds, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, that feels so good to be done. <laughs> hey, just because I pick it doesn't mean I love it. It just means I know I need to work on it. Okay, so we're going down on the ground. No weights on these. On our belly, we're gonna have our hands out to the side. Thumbs up, go towards the ceiling. You're gonna lift and squeeze those shoulder blades. That is AKA your T. You're gonna go to like a 45 degree angle with your thumbs up and lift, that is your Y. And then all the way up to the top and lift and you guessed it, that is your I. You go back to the T, the Y and the I. Are ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Lift and lift and lift. Okay, squeeze those shoulder blades. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. These aren't that bad when you start. That they'll fatigue fast. They're not big muscles. They're pastoral muscles that need long endurance, but they're not very big. And this gravity is a weight enough. Those long lever arms of your arms feel heavy enough as you get going. Come on, you got 12 more seconds. We're gonna do some donkey kicks. Oh yeah, yeehaw. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so. You're gonna be in this plank and you can butt kick right here at a side. You can run or you can try both at the same time. That's up to you, but keep moving. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Maybe you do a couple kicks and then you do a couple runs and a couple kicks and a couple runs. Oh yeah. Woo. Keep going. Kick that baby, kick that butt. Kick that butt, kick butt, oh yeah. We totally kick butt in my workouts, right? Oh yeah. Come on, over halfway. Keep it going. Oh yeah. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Thank goodness. Woo. Okay, back to those TYs and I's. Catching that breath. Kind of. Okay, thumbs up towards the ceiling. You ready? Three, two, one. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Lift and squeeze. Yeah, these got a lot harder on the second round. <laughs> Lift and squeeze, come on. You're doing great. Oh yeah, you're almost there, come on. Hang in there. You're doing awesome. 
15 more seconds. <sighs> squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 10 more seconds. We've got right there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's finish out with those kicks. Again, you're kicking, but whether that's just tapping, whether that's running, or whether that's the donkeys. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, up and out. Come on, right here. All the way to that butt. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Let's go. Getting the heart right up there. Check. Pulling back with those hamstrings and working the hamstrings. Oh yeah. Come on, pull it back. I don't care if you're running or pulling with the donkeys. You're moving and shaking and kicking butt. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, catch that breath for just a second, right? Woo, that felt good. Or felt good to be done, right? <laughs> okay, we're going back into quadruped for the next exercise. So we're gonna use our light weight and we're gonna do a shoulder flexion and abduction. So that means we're gonna lift out to the front and we're gonna lift out to the side. Nice and controlled, they're long lever arms. Okay, so you're gonna keep that elbow just slightly bent, protect that elbow. You're lifting out to the front, out to the side, nice and controlled. We'll do the right side first. Second round we'll do, whew, catch my breath. We'll do the left side, whew. Okay, you ready? Here we go, in three, two, one. Pulling up and then pulling out. Nice and controlled. You got this, come on. Pull it up and pull it out. Finish strong. Out to the side and forward. Nice and controlled. Don't use momentum, slow it down. We've got almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we are going to do some plank jacks. We're gonna be in this plank position, out and in, right here, or you're stepping. Either way, you're moving and keeping that heart rate pumping. Are you ready? Three, two, one. If that bothers your wrist, come down on your elbows. And right here, step or hop. Give those wrists a break if you need to. Totally fine. Or put your wrists down. That works too. Do what you need to do. Take care of your body. But keep moving. Keep it up. And step. I'm gonna try to keep my butt down more. Come on, 10 more seconds. Oh yeah. Whew. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Finishing out with those forward motion, sideward motion, that flexion and abduction. Woo. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, what? Forward lift and a side lift. Oh yeah, come on. Forward lift and side lift. Keep it up, you got this, come on. 10 more seconds, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, here we go. Finish out with these plank jacks. And then here's the good news. We only have one more super set left. Yes, we're seeing that finish line. Here we go. Three, two, one. Plank it out, jack it out, I mean. Okay, work hard to keep that butt down. I had to talk to myself about it. <laughs> Come on. Step or hop, or maybe step, step and hop. Okay, keep it going, keep it moving. Push, 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 you got it. Come on, halfway there. Almost there, 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, 
Keep that butt down. Oh, <laughs> almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, that felt good, right? Okay, we're gonna do two different exercises on this last one, but it's gonna be the same motion. We're gonna be in a quadruped or plank. We're gonna keep those elbows straight and we're gonna sink down and up right here. More challenging, plank position. Second round, you're gonna do the same thing, except you're gonna take the weights and you're gonna punch up towards the sky. Okay, so those are the two exercises we're gonna do with that. Body weight, then we're gonna come up and we're gonna scissor right here. Out, in, forward, back. Again, you can always step. We're gonna start in that quadruped or plank position. Here we go, three, two, one. Elbows are straight. We're sinking those shoulder blades in and out. Elbows are locked. The movement is coming from those shoulder blades. It's harder in that plank. It's easier in quadruped or even one knee down. Is that middle ground? Okay. Work on that scap. That's your shoulder blade, your scapular. Okay, stability with this. Oh yeah. Come on, it's fatiguing. It's a small movement, but it's powerful. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're scissoring twice. Scissor this way, twice. Okay, or you're stepping. Step, 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 step. You're moving, you're shaking, we're finished and strong. Here we go, in three, two, one, boom. Let's go. Up, down, sideways, sideways. Oh, baby, working those. Up, down, sideways. Oh yeah, I'm moving that brain to finish us strong. <laughs> Guessing all the way, right? <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen next. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, loving it, right? And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'd grab your medium to heavy weight for this next one. We're going down on the back. Elbows are straight, feet are up. Punch through the sky. It's all through that shoulder movement. Here we go. Three, two, one, punch and down. Out. It's really easy to use those elbows. Elbows are locked out. It's all straight. It's all moving through that shoulder, punching up and down. We're really working at stabilizing that shoulder. We're working specifically one of the rotator cuff muscles, that serratus anterior. It's a fancy word for that muscle that's right there on the inside of your shoulder blade that keeps your shoulder blade nice and tight against that rib cage. It's also AKA your punching muscle. Come on, 10 more seconds. Let's go, punch it up. And then we'll finish with our scissor axe. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, get rid of those weights. We're finishing strong. You're gonna empty that tank. This is all we've got. We gotta work that brain. We gotta work that body and have some fun in the mix. Here we go, in three, two, one, scissor, and cross scissor, and forward scissors, and cross. Oh, you never know where we're gonna cut. Boom. <laughs> okay, if you're stepping, you're driving, and you're stepping, and you're moving fast. Come on, and shake. Oh yeah, have some fun. Let's finish out. We're halfway there. Oh, thank goodness. Oh yeah. Are you feeling worked? I am. I feel strong and worked. Let's go. 10 more seconds. Yes. And five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, love that word, right? Okay, let's pull that arm over. Lock that out as you pull that shoulder across. Big deep breath. Take that arm all the way over. Give me that tricep. Stretch right there. Okay, and take that other arm over and across. Doing that shoulder stretched out, oh yeah. And then up and across. Keep breathing out. Big deep breaths. Take those arms behind you. Now, if you don't have that range of motion, grab your towel and lift that on up and then drop that down. Let that hang over. Getting some hamstring in there. Letting that shoulder stretch out. Oh yeah, baby. And then come on up. Let's pull that wrist back. We use those wrists a lot today. 
Stretch that baby out and bring that baby down. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna pull it back on the other side and bring it down. And then we're gonna pull those wrists together, push them together and then rotate out front and push. Really stretch that out. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna take those and you're gonna push those shoulder blades out, out, out. Give me a nice big C. And then you're gonna lift right on up and you're gonna pull to the right. Nice, good tug. And then you're gonna pull to the left. Nice, good tug and pull. And then you're gonna pull right on back and we've got three, two, one. High five for rocking that and have a great day. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you wanna keep that momentum going, I have a free gift for you. It's my 10 minute slim and fit core routine. This video will help you look better, feel better, and move better. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below, then enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you one of my favorite core routines. Did you like this video? Then let me know by clicking the like button below. Leave a comment with your favorite part or even ideas for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. All you need to do is click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my future workouts. So let's go get started on that 10 minute slim and fit core routine. I'll see you there and have a great day.